I'm drunk, turned up, leaning, wasted from a spirit I just tasted. The spirit is telling me to ignore the felony, DWI, seeing double in my eyes and still I choose to drive. Intoxicating methods in delivering a message. Hypnotic liquid possesses my being and now I'm drunk texting. Twitter fingers moving. My location is not secluded. I alluded to the fact that I just might lose it. What is it? It is control. As my soul transforms into this drunken internet troll, about to upload my staggering swag into the cyber world and unload lethal doses of content that just might make the internet explode. But really, I am about to implode because my actions follow me everywhere that I go. And you know, the spirits in the bottle entice me to swallow. It took over my logic like some sick brainwashing project. Not consciously aware that someone out there could be geotagging my activities, using GPS to locate me in the vicinity where I am consuming the spiritualist energy. I tell myself, the spirits in the bottle befriended me. No, no. It really intensified my depressive propensity and sensitivity, making me my worst enemy, contributing to the 75,000 deaths annually, the nation's third leading cause of preventable death, respectively. A public health ailment, this health risk behavioral element called alcohol consumption is often taken as pain medicine. And I can't drink away my sorrows, nor will the ubiquitous nature of social media save me from a damage tomorrow unless true change starts to manifest and that's if I exorcise these spirits that mimics comfort. Cheers. Here's a toast to the miserable years my tears steered me to the six packs of beer because I was too scared to face my fears. I try to chase my liquor but can't catch it. Feeling wretched and living reckless, teetering on sanity edges, being tested by the substance that infested my liver. Cirrhosis is making me quiver and I'm crying rivers on Twitter, tweeting while guzzling and developing Memes of mean bottles of liquor for Snapchat motion pictures. When would the spell wore off or how can I ward off these spirits that possesses my cognitive processes? The spirit confesses. It admits that when I submit, it becomes my dinner, lunch and breakfast. How fascinating this is that it can liquidate itself and bottle up its message the spirits in the bottom.